It's got all the nutrients you need. The vegan alkaline pancakes, so easy. You ain't even think about it, it's already done. And your body is loving you for it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Untapped Healing, where we help you tap into your healing potential. In today's episode, we're gonna be learning how to make vegan, alkaline, banana pancakes. Now, this video today really is for my man, Jaden. I was watching the Red Table Talk, and this guy was talking about pancakes is the reason why he's still vegetarian. I'm like, wait, 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 what, what, what? We can make them vegan, bro. And not only can we make them vegan, we can make them alkaline, electric, get the body going crazy. So in today's episode, we got the Dr. Sebi approved vegan alkaline pancakes that are so easy, so easy, bro. You can make it, bro. Man, Jaden, bro, you can make these pancakes. So simple, so easy. And yo, let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, we gotta have the flour. We can use any flour on Dr. Sebi's approved list. So if it's not, like today we're using spelt flour. If you're like, you got rye as an alternative, if you wanna use rye, like there's, there's gluten-free flours, but I like the way like spelts comes together and it's approved, so we're using it. Um, we got agave nectar as a sweetener and coconut milk. Make sure you get your coconut milk. There's other milks that you could use as well, but I mean, we got coconut milk here today. And of course, we got the bananas. These are not the burrow bananas that are like Dr. Sebi, super Dr. Sebi approved, but we got the organic ones. I just spent two months in, in Africa and that was all I was eating, burrow bananas. We got to get them in the States, so like specialty shops. I'm pretty sure they got them at Whole Foods, potentially. But today, we got the organic bananas. Get your hands on some organic bananas if you can. Um, and really easy, really simple. Let's, let's get right to it. Um, take your flour, <laughs> toss it in the bowl. Very important. We got two cups, two cups. The, rec the recipe will be in the description below. We got two cups of um, spelt flour. Then you got one third cup of agave nectar. One third cup of agave nectar. Swag, swag, swag. See, I, I usually, I usually use like a little bit, just a little bit of oil. Um, got a little bit of um, avocado oil here. Maybe like um, less than a, uh, I don't even know. Uh, I, I'll put it in the description below the amount, the size, but just a little bit. And again, off of the Dr. Sebi approves list, avocado oil, um, um, agave nectar, raw agave nectar, um, bananas, just everything on the Dr. Sebi approved list. So what, what do we got so far? So, so far we got the, the, the flour in here, we got the agave nectar in here, and we have just a little bit of oil. And now we stirring it all up, stirring it all up crazy. Get the, the dry ingredients in there. And then take one cup. Coconut milk. One cup of coconut milk. While wow, we get the the burner going. Yo, yeah, you guys, like, I'm gonna do a lot more of these. I mean, just let me know in the description different like recipes that you would want me to make alkaline. Because that's what it's all about. We just eating the foods that we already love. We just making them alkaline because it's so easy. It's so easy and so tasty. But we're about to see how tasty it is in a little bit. But first, let's let's get it done. All right. So now the batter is all done. Chop up these bananas really quickly. So we're chopping it up, chopping them up. Chopping up the bananas. 
and you could chop in as many as you want honestly there is no no limitations to the amount and it doesn't have to be bananas it could be blueberries it could be raspberries it could be any fruit on the dr sebi approves list of course alkaline electric fruits electric fruits but today we got bananas um yeah and then i'm just slicing them up slicing them up and yeah. see you guys i'm I, i'm no chef i'm just swagging it here <laughs> Jaden, I'm not a chef, bro. I'm just swagging it here, bro. No. Throwing the bananas. Tossing in the bananas, tossing in the bananas. right so now that we got all the bananas all tossed up in there going to mix it all up mix it all up and see it's a little it's a little hard so i'm probably like the, the batter is a little thick i'm gonna put a little bit more coconut milk in here so right now i'll put one cup of coconut milk in so we'll say about like another half a cup this is like one one fourth one fourth cup maybe but then that's like half of it i mean just 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 keep keep pouring in you can you can do coconut milk or you could put a little bit of water if you want i just i just prefer to use milk because i feel like it keeps the texture together really well but yeah Pancake's about to be banging. Pancake's about to be like that. All right, all right. Now, got the, the oven heated on medium. After we get the texture that we like, so like this, this this is the texture that I like. If you like yours more watery, you can add more liquid to it. If you don't, like the, this is the thickness that I really aim for. But after you get the, the thickness, your desired thickness, guys, you now, you, I use my, my half cup here and then I pour it into this pan. Yeah, we got the we got the baby pan, <laughs> but it's, it's it's mostly for demonstration purposes. If you guys have a bigger pan, feel free to use a bigger pan. Very important. But right now we're heating up the burner. Oh. Taste, taste it like feel, feel free to like taste your batter before like you know what it's tasting like it's tasting fire now we got um non-stick avocado oil cooking spray so get your non-spray non-stick spray but make sure it's approved <laughs> make sure it is approved Swag, swag. It's heated enough. So now we put our pancake in the pot. Pancake number one on the way. <laughs> um, you should, like at a high temperature, you should let your pancakes sit on maybe for like 
two or three minutes and then flip over to the other side. If you like your pancakes a little bit more well done, you can go a little bit over that. But stay near your oven, stay near your furnace, because if you don't, then it's like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do that? Like, you're just gonna burn. Stay near your stuff, please. <laughs> but yeah, this should be done shortly. Then I'll flip it over to the other side. I don't like mine super burnt, so you'll, you'll see how they look like at the end. Stay tuned. You gotta flip your pancakes, guys. Flipping the pancakes. Looking real good. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yo. This is how I like mine. Like this is this is this is like what is it looking like? <laughs> but pancake one done. You guys just use all of the batter. This recipe will make as many pancakes as the batter allows. You could double, triple, quadruple this recipe depending on how many people is in your family. Um, yo, I'm gonna try and come up with as many different recipes as possible for just alkaline foods in general because I, I like this eating better. And your tongue, like, there never has to be a suffering thing that has to happen when you start eating better. You, your tongue doesn't have to suffer for what you eat. Like, it's not about not eating the cake anymore. It's just eat the alkaline cake. It's not about not eating the, the, the pasta anymore or the foods that you want to eat. Just eat the foods that you want to eat. Just make it an alkaline version of it. And there's plenty of ways to do that. Oh, it's time to flip the pancake. All right, guys, and that is how you make vegan alkaline banana pancakes. Again, don't have to be bananas. It could be whatever fruit you want. You just throw it in there, make it taste real good. But just understand that you don't have to suffer. Your tongue doesn't have to suffer for you eating right. Wake your girl up with a stack of pancakes that not only will she be feeling right after she eats it and like, oh, I'm full, but her body will thank you for it because it's alkaline, it's electric, it got the nutrients. It got the nutrients. And yo, I, I use date syrup. Date syrup is like really good for sweetening as well. I mean, like, like it's, it's not alkaline to use maple syrup, but if you use maple syrup, just make sure you're sourcing it from all the right places. And make sure that every single thing, every single thing that you are consuming into your body is on its way. Because I know this is my first recipe that I'm putting on the channel. And yo, Throw in the comment section below for any recipes you want me to do in the future, but fully understand that there's an easy electric alkaline recipe for just about anything out there. And it's just a matter of seeking after it like you did today. And yo, you will live a better life. My man Jaden, it is really easy, really simple, bro. You don't gotta be vegetarian or whatever, bro. That step isn't even there, like, bro. I look up to a lot of things that you're doing. You're doing it at a really high level, and I'm grateful for you, bro. Literally, this isn't even a half step, bro. You're already on the way. Absolutely love you, and I love every single person who stuck to the end, and I absolutely hope to see you guys in the next one. Again, let me know in the comment section below for any other recipes or whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay well. I'm about to go, go munch on this right here. Yes, sir.